2011, this is Joey Buddy 96 and this is specifically a tutorial. Get out of, wait, get out of, no, get out of the full screen mode. Get out of the full, quit. No, discard changes, I don't care. Uh, this is actually a modification on one of Dan on a Bouncy Castle TM's videos called, um, uh, how to render or something like that. Yeah, how to export render files. Um, let's start up Maya 2011. This is like the third time I've tried to film this. Okay. So basically what I'm going to show you how to do is start a project, put stuff in the project, set up your cameras, um, and export it as a video. Alright. So, um, let's set, start a new project and call it Stupid Thing. Um, now we're going to, if you, if you don't have all this stuff filled out, it's not going to be, it's going to be all screwed up and stuff. So let's use defaults and that'll fill in, that'll create all these folders and stuff where all your stuff goes. I like using the word stuff. It's a fun word. Now we're going to go to new scene. Wait. You can create multiple scenes in the same project. And what this lets you do is it lets you set up all your defaults. Let's have... The animations start stop time um, be 24 and enable default scene. What? What do I want to do that? No. No. Well, oh well. Um, we can save our scene as something, but they're not going to do that because, well, okay, yeah, let's do that. Save scene as thingy. Thing. Stuff. Thing. Uh, and if you've got the student version, the legal student version, as I have, uh, it'll give you that message every single time. So, thanks for penalizing me for... Okay. And shift... Let's make a cube. Shift that. And this is a polygon. Um, now we're going to make a little sphere. Then we're going to make a cone. And then we're going to make a donut slash torus. Um, and then we're going to hit the 6 key to make them all be shaded. And the four key to make a wireframe, six is shaded. Three makes stuff more rounded, but you don't want to do that with, like, a box or something, because look what it does. It turns it into this freaky little thing. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. Just keep it at one if it's, like, a box or something. Uh, now we're going to go to curves. Let's hit circle. Then do this. And this is going to be a path that our camera travels around. And we're going to create a camera. Um, and if it creates a camera, it'll create it at the middle of the thing. And then we're going to shift click the circle, then we're going to go to animation, see, animation, then you click animate, motion paths, attach to motion path. So hitting shit, shift, I did not mean to say that, shift, and then clicking the circle, um, makes it added to the thing, and then you're going to go to panel, perspective, camera one, alright, and, minimize live stream there, uh, what? Go away, live stream progressor. Okay. Then we're going to drag it, and this, as you can see, is making the camera spin around the full circle until it goes back to where it starts. See? I don't know how to change, like, where the start or end frame is for it or whatever. I guess it's just, like, your time thing or whatever. Anyway, um, this will render fine without the lighting. Then we're going to go to render, high quality rendering. All this does is it changes your scene rendering. Um, then we go to... Uh, rendering. Um, then we and that all that lets you do is it has its more buttons and more stuff to where it's like your thing, and click this little thing, this icon right here, to open this up. And you can also go to render settings somewhere in here to do that window renders, render editors, render settings. Um, and now we're gonna set up all the stuff with it. Image format. You can also set it up as an image sequence, like with PNG, and then you can name, and then it'll have like like a bazillion little PNG files, and then you can make those an image sequence, like in um, Premiere, Vegas, Blender, um, or some other fourth thing that I can't, oh yeah, compo my composite, but for now we're going to set it to AV, compression, 100%, I put it to zero. And that made it so horrible because it was like, you could barely even see what was going on. Guess that's just to make sure it's working. 
going to end frame to be 24. That's where the camera goes full circle. Uh, renderable camera, we want to put it to camera one. That's the one that's on the circle track. Camera depth, depth channel. This this is like if you have um, what you what you call it? Like a bumper or normal map on it. Presets 720p. I did 720p and it took forever. So let's just set it for 320 by 240. Um, I don't. Why would I want to do that? Click that. I don't know. Uh, render options doesn't do anything. Go to custom, low quality, shading, blah blah blah, field options. Oh hey, there was one more thing. Oh no, actually I don't want to do that frame padding. I don't know what you would use that for. Oh, I guess I would insert like other ones in between it. Anyway, that's pretty much all we want to do for now because we don't have any lights set up or anything. Render options, that does nothing. Memory performance, that does nothing. It's all available CPUs. This has a dual core and it's still so slow when you render it. Uh, okay, let's just go straight to batch render and that's going to render our little AB file out. Now this will take forever. Yes, bother me about it. We're already on six minutes. Ah. Go ahead. I guess I should do something in the meantime while it's doing this. Hmm. Yep. I can tell you how to create a light. Um, if I wanted to create a light so it's lit better, it's using the default lighting right now, but I would click this little icon right here and that would add a spotlight. Um, I don't want to change anything while it's rendering though. It does this thing down here, like, yeah, it, it goes rendering, 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 and then it goes whoop and then it's, whoa. That went really, really fast. Okay, so let's go pull it out of the folder. Um, it'll be in wherever your projects folder was. Um, it'll be in scenes. No, actually it won't. It'll be in images, maybe? Images? Where's images? Projects? No, there's no folder called projects. Images? Images! Yay, there it is. Uh, hopefully this will work, please. Please work. Please. Please work. Yes. Yes. It works. Now you might not actually be able to see us because I've set live stream to be five frames per second. But it's zipping around real nice and smooth at um, 24 frames per second. Actually it's 29 frames per second. Alright. So that's all you need to know from now. Um, his tutorial was pretty brief. The reason why I'm doing mine is because I had all kinds of glitches and stuff when I was doing it, and PNG just wasn't working out for me. So, thanks, Dan on the Bounty Castle, TM. JoyBuddy96, 